Welcome back to the Joy of Vinyl. I'm Rick Coast. So here's the thing. I was never a fan of cassette tapes. And that has to come as no surprise given the name of my website, podcast, and YouTube channel is the Joy of Vinyl and not the Joy of, say, analog. Now, depending on your age, you might not even know what I'm talking about. This is a cassette. Beautiful, right? <laughs> just kidding. It's not. The thing is, they might just be making a comeback. Maybe? Now, I've only owned a handful of cassettes in my life, and most were because I tried out a Columbia record and tape offer to get 10 cassettes for 10 cents. The Doors Greatest Hits was in that haul. It lasted about three weeks. In week four, the cassette player in my car decided it had had enough of Jim Morrison and ate it up. The casing of that tape spent the rest of its days on the floor in my back seat with its unspooled guts looped around my ice scraper. And a week later, Ted Nugent's cat scratch fever almost suffered a similar fate. I caught it just in time and spent the next 20 minutes using a pencil to rewind the tape back into the case. Come to think of it, I believe I actually gave up on it and tossed it out the window. Not my proudest litter bug moment. Well, the thing is, I never had that problem with my vinyl records, ever. The ones I owned then are still in my collection now. And those cassettes which survived my car's cassette player? I have no idea. Maybe in a box in my attic? Maybe thrown out? I'd be lying if I said I really cared where they are. So, imagine my surprise when I read a recent RIAA report that showed cassette tape sales were on an incline over the past few years. In 2020, almost half a million were sold, and the revenue from the sales topped 8 million. Seriously. Well, it's far from the 22 million LP records sold in 2020 or the 619 million they brought in, but still, cassette sales grow every year. Now, I can't account for it given my feelings about them, but I have a couple theories about why they might be making a slight and hopefully short-lived comeback. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm not being very friendly to the LP's annoying little brother. I can't help it, it's fun to pick on them. But I'm a huge Marvel Comics fan and I have been since I was a kid. I learned how to read through comics. I also loved the movies. When Guardians of the Galaxy came out in 2014, I was surprised at the choice given the universe of characters that Marvel had to choose from. But I absolutely loved the opening scene. In it, Peter Quill, who is played by Chris Pratt, pulls out an old Sony Walkman. He puts on his headphones and he dances through an alien cavern to the song, Come and Get Your Love. Priceless. Since then, movies like Baby Driver have introduced a new generation to the little piece of plastic with two spools. And as a result, the music industry and artists like Pink, Lady Gaga, Billie Eilish, Taylor Swift, and ACDC have released cassette versions of their latest releases. And that's only done when there are consumers who will buy it. And apparently, there are. Should I be happy about it? Yeah. I probably should enjoy the fact that Analog is making a comeback regardless of the format that the resurgence comes in. I do appreciate that I can stream anything I want from Alexa, but it's all background music to serve as a soundtrack for whatever my wife and I are doing, like cooking or painting a wall. When I really want to listen to music, and I mean really listen, I make a drink, I pick a record, and I settle into my chair. I guess it's nice to think that somewhere... Someone is doing something similar with an old cassette deck and a vintage copy of Duran Duran's Rio. So I guess I should raise my glass and say cheers. Fine. Cheers, little cassette. Don't get eaten by your tape player. It's for the rest of us, if you enjoy vinyl records as much as I do, feel free to subscribe. And if you would like to know when new episodes are released, also click the little bell icon below. And until next time, please take care of yourself and enjoy your records.